Hello and welcome to our pose of the day. For today we're going to be exploring lizard pose. Now lizard is an amazing hip opener and there are a variety of different modifications or variations that you can take with your lizard. For today's tutorial, we're going to be coming into our lizard from a low lunge, exploring our modifications and then our variations. And then what we'll begin to do is take our practice together. So if you do have blocks or bricks or any sort of props to bring the earth closer, just having them at the top of your space, framing the front foot. So we're gonna start with our right foot in front in our low lunge. So I'm just going to do our tutorial first. I'm coming into our forward fold, stepping back, runner's lunge, and then our low lunge. So within that low lunge, again, ensuring that the feet are hip width apart to begin with. And what we're going to begin to do from this low lunge is we're going to begin to take our right hand on the inside of this foot and begin to toe heel that right foot towards the long edge of our mat. So I'm just going to change my profile just for a moment. And what we're going to begin to do again is that low lunge, right foot in front, I'm not mirroring, we're framing. Notice that I'm on wide train tracks rather than a tight rope, so this foot isn't in front of that knee. To come into the lizard, what you'll begin to do is take that right hand on the inside, toe heeling that right foot towards the long edge of your mat if you have one. If not, then it's slightly wider than shoulder or hip width. Okay, so again, if we've got props, you might have blocks here bringing the earth closer. Some of us might have them on the edge, maybe flat. Okay, so this is our baseline of our lizard. So I'm going to just change direction again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my blocks flat at the minute. And within this lizard, just checking whether you want to have the toe tucked or untucked. Mine is currently untucked, so you want it tucked, tucking it under. So with the variations of our lizard, as we can stay right here, there are imitations of bringing the weight into that left hand, right hand coming onto the thigh, and beginning to spiral the chest open. So again, we could stay here, other imitations. And again, I'll just change my profile. Is that we have the hand on the thigh, opening it up. We can stay here. What you can also do is begin to come onto the pinky edge of that right foot, hand on the thigh and opening, taking a little bit more of a hip opener. Okay. And then beginning to come back down. And again, there's various ways of coming out of your lizard. We'll just come back to our low lunge for the purpose of this tutorial and begin to lift up. So what we'll begin to do is we're going to explore our lizard on both sides. Now I've given the modifications and what modifications means is more of a foundational or a basic part of the pose. Variations tend to be evolutions or imitations. So if you want to take it a little bit further, so you have your baseline modifications, baseline variations. Sometimes they get used intertwined or in between. <laughs> you can use them both ways, but just so you can be aware that we have variations that go up and modifications that go a little bit more foundational. Okay, so for our practice part, of our lizard today. What I'm going to invite us to do is we'll come in through your runner's lunge and then your low lunge. We'll release that bottom knee and I'll have that imitation of a variation of taking it further. So if you want to come into a lizard lunge, we'll begin to lift that base knee. But I'll cue us when we get there. So if you haven't done so already, begin to come into your low lunge with your left leg in front this time. If you're using blocks or bricks, having them nearby, either framing or maybe both on the inside of that left foot. We're going to begin to come into our lizard, so we're going to bring this left hand on the inside of that left foot. Again, we can be on the bricks or the blocks if you want to stay here. Again, those various heights. If you want to take your lizard further, taking a variation, you can begin to tuck the back toe, lifting that right knee. <clears throat> 
And what we'll begin to do is take our left hand onto the thigh, maybe begin to open it up, your choice. Now, regardless of what you've done with that right leg, whether the knee is down or up, you can have that invitation of beginning to come lower, so coming onto a forearm. Hands may be parallel with the shoulder, or maybe that right hand comes towards the left foot. Okay, so we're just in our lizard, your modification or variation. And I always like to take a little bit of movement. So regardless of whether my knee being up or not, just using that back foot or swaying. We'll begin to bring the sole of that left foot and the hands either to the block or the earth. We'll begin to release that right knee as we come into a variation and beginning to toe heel that left foot back to our lunge. So what we're going to begin to do is we're going to come through to a forward fold and then our runner's lunge. So tucking that back toe, lifting the knee, we'll come back to our forward fold. And we're going to step back with the opposite foot. So we're just taking our lizard on the opposite side, runner's lunge, beginning to release that knee. Now again, if we've got blocks or bricks, just bring them onto the left side. And we'll begin to toe heel that right foot towards the long edge of your mat, right hand on the inside. So again, we can stay right here, hands on thighs, spiraling the chest, maybe opening up. If you want to take a variation, tucking the back toe, lifting the left knee. Remember, we have that option with the left hand, staying exactly where we are. Some might come onto the forearm. The left hand may come towards that right foot. We'll begin to bring the hands to the blocks of the earth, sole of that right foot. Begin to release the left knee if we took a lunge. And then we'll begin to toe heel that right foot back to center. We're going to come back to our forward fold. So tucking the back toe, lifting the knee, runner's lunge, baby or big steps, forward fold. And then we'll begin to roll up. So that is our lizard. So again, there's various modifications or variations you can take within your lizard. In the comments below, let me know, did you keep your knee down? Did you lift? Did you happen to come onto your forum or explore? Leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next pose.